In the previous video, I introduced the basic trigonometric ratios. And to remind you what those were is so ka toa. And so represented sine, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The ka part is cosine is equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the toa part was tan, which is the opposite over the adjacent. And all of these come from a triangle. It's a right-angled triangle. And we have theta inside the triangle. The opposite side is opposite theta. The adjacent side was next to theta. And the hypotenuse was opposite the right angle of the triangle. Now that we have learned the trigonometric ratios, we are going to apply them in this triangle. So this is a right angle triangle. We have a length of 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. We have a beta and a theta as angles in the triangle, and then the square representing the 90 degrees angle. The first thing that we are going to work out in this triangle is the length of AC. AC represents the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle of the triangle. I don't have to use any trigonometric functions. All that I need to use is simple Pythagoras. So AC square is 3 square plus 4 square. That is Pythagoras. And square out. So AC square is 25. Therefore, AC is 5 centimeters. So the next thing that we can work out in that triangle is the sine of theta, the cosine of theta, and the tan of theta. Sine of theta, remember, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I look at the sketch, here is theta at, in the bottom right. The side opposite of theta is 3 centimeters, and the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. So the ratio of sine theta is 3 over 5. Cosine of theta is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So I start again at theta. The adjacent side is 4 centimeters, and the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. So it is 4 over 5. Tan of theta is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Starting from theta, the angle in the question, I go from theta and I identify the opposite side and the adjacent side. So the ratio is 3 over 4. Mm. In that same triangle, we can find the sine of beta, the cosine of beta, and the tan of beta. But now our reference has changed. So sine of beta is opposite over the hypotenuse. But now the opposite side is from the position of beta. So starting at beta, the opposite of beta is 4 centimeters. So it is 4 over 5. The hypotenuse remains the same because it's always the side opposite the right angle of the triangle. The cosine of beta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. So from beta, the adjacent, the side right next to it is 3. So it's 3 over 5. The hypotenuse remained the same. And the last one is the tan of beta. is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So remember, you start from beta. And you look from here, opposite it, it's 4 centimeters. And adjacent or next to it is 3 centimeters. So tan of beta is 4 over 